It was an ordinary day. I was just sitting in foundation eating apple. Then I just realized, hey, these guys are here for some reason. And the reason is crafting jobs leveling. But how many methods of leveling can you use? Two? Three? Actually seven. This is aiming for gaming, and today we are aiming to check all of them. Number one, crafting log. This method is pretty obvious. You just pick the recipe and start crafting it. If you craft an item once, you can start using quick synthesis. In this mode you will craft the amount of items you want up to 99, with a small chance of getting high quality ones. Each successful craft will yield some experience, but make sure to change recipes from time to time. The amount of experience is based on your current level, so you can get much more by simply choosing higher level recipes. The pros of this method is that you can use quick synthesis for RFK leveling, and if you will choose different recipes, you'll get bonus experience for the first item. The cons of this method is that it is not fast compared to other methods, and you should spend a lot of time choosing materials for craft when you pick a new recipe. Number 2. Grand Company Delivery Missions Once you join a grand company of your choice, you'll get a lot of cool stuff to do. One of the features it offers is supply missions. They are pretty simple, you just need to bring a required item and get experience and seals as a reward. Simple as that. Not only that, if you'll bring a high quality item, you'll get double reward. All items will be available in your crafting logs, so just get the materials and make them. Or simply buy them from the market board. Across here is huge amount of experience from each item and relatively easy recipes. Cons is that you can deliver only one item for each job per day, so it is not applicable for fast leveling. Number 3. Collectibles In Mordona you can find the guy called Collectible Appraiser. He offers you scripts and experience for collectibles you bring to him. These collectibles are crafted from materials which you can gather or buy from the market board. The pros of this method is that you are getting a decent amount of experience and also scripts which are used to unlock master recipes, gear and other cool items. Cons is that this method might be quite expensive if you buy mats or time-consuming if you gather them. Number 4. Firmament This method is similar to previous one. In Foundation you can unlock Firmament, a place where many crafters spend their time turning in collectibles for experience and coupons and participating in fetters. The rules are the same, the better the quality of the item, the better the reward. The biggest difference here is that you should craft collectibles from special approved items, either gathered in special instance called Diadem or bought from the market board. Cross here is easy and fast leveling, and also coupons, which can be used to buy dice or other cool items to return some of the investment. Cons is that without starting money you'll have to farm them in Diadem, which requires gallery drop. But it's cool, believe me, try it at least once. Just about time to press like and subscribe button, it will help my channel grow. Thank you so much for your support. Number 5. These tribe quests. There are many tribes in Eorzea, like these Moogles, for example. These cute fluffy bodies can give you quests, which do not require any materials, only some time. Just look at this guy, isn't it great to help him a bit for some exp, coupons, and warmth in your heart? Cross here is that you don't need money at all, and that quests are funny. Cons is that the number of daily quests is limited to 3 per tribe, unless you level up relationship. So you can't do them continuously. Number 6. Custom deliveries. These are available in different cities, like here in Ralgur's Reach. All you need to do is to check what's needed, then go to an NPC nearby and buy materials. They're pretty cheap, the reward will cover your expenses. Also, recipes here are same for all jobs, so just pick the class you need in crafting log. Then turn in for exp, gil and scripts. Pros is that you get a good amount of exp as well as money and scripts. Cons is that custom deliveries are limited to a total of 12 per week, which is really sad. Number 7. Levy quests. This is by far the fastest way of leveling. All you need to do is to choose a quest, then bring in an item. High quality also increases the reward, by the way. Then get a reward, rinse, repeat. Pros of this method is that it is fast, easy and efficient. Cons is that you can get only 6 allows per day, which disallows continuous leveling. Also, getting high quality items and even regular ones might be expensive. Which method is your favorite? Write in the comments. Now let me share some tips with you. First of all, use consumables. Company issue engineering manual from Grand Company will give you a temporary 150% boost to experience gained from crafting. Competent, commanding and cunning medicines will boost your stats required for crafting. They work best combined with meals such as Saito Wono or Chili Crab. 
Just make sure that you buy high-quality meals, as their stats are better. In Foundation you can find Alderan, who makes Craftsman's Soul Crystals. They can give even more stats for three jobs of your choice. You can also exchange Soul Crystals if you need to make a new one. To do so, just buy Soul of the Crafter in Mordona for 480 white scripts and bring it to Alderan. Just keep in mind that you can change souls only three times per week. To simplify your crafting, use macros. You can find them in the menu. Shared macros are working for all jobs, so you don't need to make a new macro for every job you have. Each macro can contain skill name, timeout, notification sounds and much more. This macro is an example of my fast crafting for all frontier items in high quality. I use them both for leather worker and weaver. With all that knowledge, you'll definitely achieve what you are aiming for. Next time we'll aim for more, so press like and subscribe button to not miss it, and see you later!